How do you guys? It's Luke at Luke's Affordable Paint Service. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use brush on primer and get a very smooth coat using a very simple brush technique. Right guys, so first off, get your model, whatever it's going to be, metal, plastic, resin. This is a model from Reaper. As you, as you can tell, it's a Slayer, my favourite. I'm going to be using the brush on primer from Armour Painter, it's just because it's the only one I've got. Very rarely use brush on primers anymore because I just prime everything with spray cans. But, back in the day, I had to resort to this technique before I use spray cans. Now guys, what you need, don't be using a size 3 brush or anything like that, just use yourself like a, a really soft dry brush. These brushes I get from the works, you get three of them for two pounds, all right? And what you do is you overbrush the model. Now overbrushing is a dry brush technique, so exactly the same as dry brushing, but with paint on the model, with paint on the brush, sorry. And you just literally downward strokes, upward strokes, left and right, and you're just moving that paint around. Make sure there's not too much paint on your brush, but you're just literally putting the paint on and while it's wet you're moving that around now you can do this with base colors as well so once the primer's dry grab say for example on this model it'll be a flesh color and repeat the exact same process to get a very very smooth finish so i'll show you the end result and uh, yeah so they have a very smooth primed model it's it's nothing to do with the what the materials or anything else it's how you apply the techniques with the brush okay in decorating if you put paint on the wall you don't thin the paint down or mess around you literally move that paint around to spread it out it's the same with painting models people say you don't thin your, your paints down that often and I don't and the reason is is because I move the paint around till it becomes smooth and that's why I always use large br brushes and it gives you that very nice smooth finish so if you like the channel guys like share and subscribe if you want in any of my scenic supplies please check the links below as it helps me out a million alright guys catch you again for the next video